Official Anzac Day commemorations are held at historic battlefield sites within the Gallipoli Peninsula Historical National Park in Turkey. Three commemorative services are held on Anzac Day. The dawn service at the Anzac commemorative site, the Australian Memorial Service at Lone Pine and the New Zealand Memorial Service at Chinook Bear. Attending Anzac Day commemorations at Gallipoli is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, but it's important to come prepared. There is no public transport to and from the Gallipoli Peninsula, and the majority of visitors attend the commemorative services as part of a tour group. Visitors are on site for up to 24 hours, from the evening of the 24th of April until the afternoon of the 25th of April, and will spend this entire time outside. Visitors will not have access to their bus again until after the commemorations and must bring everything they need with them, including protective clothing, food, water and medication. There is no permanent infrastructure at the commemorative sites and facilities are limited. All seating, lighting, toilets and water are brought in specifically for the commemorations. Local Turkish food and drink vendors sell a small range of products on site. Seating is available in tiered stands and on grassed areas. As large numbers of visitors attend the services, seating is neither reserved nor guaranteed and is available on a first-come, first-served basis. Seating cannot be reserved for tour groups and large groups may not be able to sit together. Visitors must have a moderate level of health and fitness to attend the commemorations. The terrain at the commemorative sites includes very steep and unpaved dirt roads and rough ground. To attend the services, visitors need to be able to walk up to 8 kilometres, including uphill and often on uneven and rocky surfaces. Comfortable walking shoes are a must. Visitors must be able to stand for long periods of time due to the large crowds, traffic and security arrangements on entry and exit to the commemorative sites and when accessing public amenities. The spring weather in April can be extremely variable and visitors must come prepared for all weather conditions. Overnight it can get very cold, with temperatures sometimes falling below freezing. During the day it can heat up considerably with temperatures often reaching up into the mid-twenties for the services at Lone Pine and Chinook Bear. Layers of clothing are recommended to cater for all weather, including thermals, heavy waterproof jacket, scarf, gloves and a warm hat for the dawn service, and a t-shirt, sunglasses, sun hat and sunscreen for if it warms up. Rain and cold winds are also possible. Once the services conclude, Coaches make their way to Lone Pine and Chinook Bear. As this is a one-way, single-lane road, it can take several hours for all coaches to collect their passengers. Visitors can expect to leave the commemorative sites by mid to late afternoon on the 25th of April. Elderly visitors or those with mobility issues which may prevent them from walking between commemorative sites may be eligible for an assisted mobility pass. Assisted Mobility Pass holders have access to reserve seating with a disabled toilet nearby and a shuttle bus to transport them from the Anzac Commemorative Site after the dawn service to either the Australian Memorial Service at Lone Pine or the New Zealand Memorial Service at Chinook Bear. Assisted Mobility visitors are encouraged to seek the advice of their medical practitioner before committing to attend the commemorations and must provide a written application to request support well in advance of Anzac Day. Only basic first aid facilities are available from the evening of the 24th of April and during the day on the 25th of April. For more information on what to expect at Anzac Day commemorations at Gallipoli, visit the Australian Government Department of Veterans Affairs website dva.gov.au forward slash Gallipoli or the New Zealand Gallipoli 2015 website gallipoli2015.govt.nz